everybody in the vortex. How you guys doing? Don't tell me. I don't want to know. You can tell me later after the show, okay? This is me. I'm getting getting ready for work. I don't naturally wear red polo shirts every day. <laughs> I love my hair, you guys. It's so soft. Y'all feel it. Can you feel it? No? Yes? Maybe so. I mean, I think that, I think that you can tell how soft it is just by looking at it, but my friend Jenny was like, whoa! Above my ears. Whoa. Huh. You know, in certain aspects, like, I can totally see, like, how I look like a dude, but in other aspects, I still look like a girl. A little bit of one. I mean, I'm obviously pretty, like, boyish, you know. I don't act like a typical female. And that's why they hate me. <laughs> Women are just, like, so dramatic. Like, I'm dramatic, too, but I guess I'm, like, mean about it. Like, so say, like, somebody's mean to me, right? Say they say something that's just, like, totally uncool. Like, well, first of all, the main reason I don't say anything is because I'm not quick enough. I always come up with something really clever and fucked up to say, like, right after they leave, right? Oh, wait! I got a really great insult for you. Why? Right, don't take the cowbell, please. <laughs> I gotta practice using it, baby! We got to. I keep having to talk myself out of like going to the fucking gas station and buying a pack of cigarettes. But like I know it's fucking over. But I'll smoke that whole pack in one fucking sitting. I don't know. I know how I am. We still have to tie dye these t shirts over here. Or not tie dye them, they're already tie dyed, as you can see. Uh <laughs> We gotta get more fabric paint. But, uh, yeah, and you gotta get more tie dye and more t shirts, all that shit. It's no good. It's like money I do not have. But, what's new? <laughs> Before, before the cowbell. Probably girls. 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 I hope you didn't get that coffee in your laptop. I don't think so. No. Ugh. Hello. Girls are like just. I, I just don't get along with most girls. Cause I I, I don't even know. maybe I I don't her master date that was it. <laughs> Cause I mean people ask me a lot they're like are you a boy or a girl you know it's trying to be mean so I always say I'm a boy. <laughs> it's like I've gotten that shit my whole life. Like, I mean, I understand where they're coming from, like, transgenders, like, Jesus. I know how hard it is, because it was really hard for me, and I'm not even, like, that strongly opposed to my own genitalia, you know what I mean? Having a clitoris is kind of cool sometimes. <laughs> really, having the, uh, um, G-spot, I can reach my G-spot that nobody else can. I can reach it at advanced financial, y'all. 
in a very short period of time. His coffee mug, it says, read. Wish I could take that advice. I have so many fucking books, man. The thing is with me, when I start reading, like, I just, it's like I just want to stay in that world, you know? Like, I'm one of those people that just, like, picks up a book and just reads the whole fucking thing. But if I put it down, I'll, like, forget it. Anyway, we gotta go. Yeah, so... You have your nuts in the bag. Yeah. Your, your, your oats. Your your <laughs> your peanut oats. <laughs> awesome. I know that I'm supposed to do comedy, but the kind of stuff that I'm saying, I guess, is pretty counterculture. And because it's so counterculture, and my friend told me that it's not going to sell. <laughs> fucking nut job and I'm telling all these normal boring ass plebeian sheep <laughs> that they should kill themselves <laughs> you know I'm making speculations about you know race and I'm not you know as black as I seem to think I am and uh I'm making speculations about, you know, Mexicans, and I'm not as Mexican as I seem to think I am, and, uh, I say lots of mean things about liberals and conservatives, and, uh, I think I said something about Ann Coulter's pussy face, and, uh, I said she was a literal cunt face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, what is it, Matt? I mean... It's just stupid things that I think. Like, I, I say mean things. I know that they're fucking mean and obscene, and, and I, am I supposed to just keep that in the dark for the rest of my life? Well, because, like, it's mean, and it's mean. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, though. People are mean and obscene in regards to mental illness. So that's really why I just don't have much fucking compassion, like, you know, I want to educate people about stuff that they need to know, and so you're basically just trying to, like, reiterate why you're doing this. Once again... Once again, I'm so glad that I have a red light, you guys. I need to figure it out. I really do. Um, yeah, you're not <laughs> even holding it right. <laughs> Yay! So. Yeah, I, uh. It's like I need to clarify things. I need to explain what I say because I know it's going to get misinterpreted. Did you guys know what satire is? Satire is when, when you uh, make fun of society. Violence is 
tending to think like society or why well, that, I guess it's a form of satire, but, uh, um, well, it's basically you're spoofing society. That's what it is. It's just, uh, you probably should have looked up this definition before you tried to tell the vortex what it is. <laughs> This is my interpretation of satire, okay? I just spoof society. Because society fucking spoofs me! All the time! Psychiatrists don't get it right. People just don't know how to deal with us. By us, I mean we, and by we, I mean she, and by she, I mean me. You know? Don't know how to deal with her. We, she, me. It's like people that have classic borderline personality disorder, which is like my evil twin, basically. Uh, society like caters to them, you know? I don't even think about it. Don't even fucking Penske truck rental piece of shit. Don't even think about cutting from me. All right. Yeah, dude, he was almost all the way out on the road. Piece of shit. <laughs> okay, so, uh, anyway, I'm already talking. God damn it. Lost my fucking train of thought. Why? Why Penske truck rental? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Borderline, classic borderline. Classic borderlines are like the lashing out. I'm gonna yell at you over something that I'm gonna misinterpret on purpose just so I can play the victim. Like, that kind of shit. Fuck that shit. The thing is, people cater to them. They just like, let them get away with it. Like, okay, how often are you like in a situation it's probably at work. Maybe it's a relationship. God forbid. I'll pray for you. That means there's nothing I can do. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I could try to tell you how to break up with her. I can try to help you. Like, I'll do that. Quiet Borderlands trying to take classic Borderlands down. Like, that's what my goal is, man. Because they get to get away with whatever the fuck they they want, you know? It's just in my head. But you know, probably you work with some bitch like this. She lashes out. Maybe it's a dude. It might be a dude. These are like eggshell people, I call them. They're like, oh God, don't say that around them or they'll get really upset. You know, it's like you gotta hurt everything that you say. Like, these aren't good people. Like, they're really selfish, manipulative pieces of shit. And, like, you try to tell them that, and it's your problem, you know? They just don't have that self-awareness. So it's like quiet borderlines make up for it by having a camera crew in their head. <laughs> Anywho, what was I talking about? Plastic borderlines. Okay, well, eggshell people. Um, I call them thunder cunts. Uh, they make a lot of noise. But lightning cunts. I don't even think about it. Dude, people always try to cut you off. Fuck those bitch. Lightning cunts such as myself, we wait to strike. We wait a long ass time to say anything. Cause we're really quiet and you don't even know we're, we're there until you know we say something fucked up and piss off a lot of people but uh yeah uh thunder cuts down they like to draw a lot of attention to themselves be real dramatic uh and like society just lets them get away with it because they're terrified of them they're intimidated um Thundercons, they're bullies. And like, but, you know, society's afraid of bullies. 
society is fucking lame. Dude. Like, you know, people are just going to keep getting away with being shitheads if you keep letting them do it, you know, because you're too scared to say something. I don't know. I'm always that person that, like, says whatever, whatever, everybody, blah, 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 blah. everybody else is afraid. I say, I say stuff like that, you know, like, hey, you act like a cunt, you know. <laughs> well, I say it in a nicer way than that, but it's like, I got, I mean, it, it is scary. It's scary saying some of the stuff that I say, but it's like, at the same time, they can't eat you. <laughs> Somebody told me that once in AA, and I really like that. Amy's not going to get eaten today. <laughs> if you try to eat me, well, that ain't going to fucking happen. Anyway. Let's see. When can we go? 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 Oh, my God. Why, kiddo? Why? Now, you, you're, like, freaking me out. Okay, I'm going this way. I don't want to hit your ass. I don't want to be responsible for that. There's, like, this... He's, like, this little 10-year-old kid on a bike... What the fuck he's doing? I don't think he does either. I know where he was going. I didn't want to fucking hit him. I'll just go in the alternative route. <laughs> don't you wish I would do that in comedy, but I don't. I'm like, uh, I feel like taking a chance. Fuck that. Let's take five chances tonight. <laughs> It's just funny though. I get why people get offended by the stuff I say. It's really hard to hear. But uh, at the same time, it's fucking comedy and it's just one crazy bitch's opinion, you know? What the fuck does it matter? Like, I don't know. It's just. I just keep getting lectured, you know? And I'm just fucking sick of getting lectured. Uh, and I understand why people are concerned about my well-being. They don't want to see me get shot. But I'm like, but I want to get shot, man. I don't want to have to kill myself. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, I really don't mean to, like, upset anybody. I just want to say things and, like, you trying to clear the, clear the rubble so you can create some more because it's got to be the right rubble or you're in trouble. Isn't that right? That was a joke you were going to say at the East Room. You never did it, though. Yeah, it's really hard for me to stick to anything. God, I lost my man. I think it's my phone hurts. Damn good idea. No. No. <laughs> I'm not, like all about time or anything, not like, oh, well, it's been this long since I smoked a cigarette, because, like, you know, I smoked, like, a few weeks ago. Really don't mean shit. Especially because I've, like, canceled out as an option in my mind, so if I do smoke, it just doesn't feel right. It's like, man, I, I, I can't do this like I used to do it. And be cool with myself, you know what I mean? I'm just too aware of myself to get away with stuff, which is I guess it's ironic considering what I think I can get away with in regards to my freedom of speech and creativity and all that shit, but it's like, man, I just wish that people could see that I have the best of intentions with this shit and that I'm not trying to, like, hurt anybody unless, you know, those people need to be hurt, you know? want people with personality disorders to take responsibility for their own emotions and how they look at the world and stuff. And, like, I see it every day. Like, I work with people, like, so many people that just don't, they don't know how to take responsibility for their outlook on things and, like, why they lash out and why they overreact. And, you know, it's just not fair to the people around them. And I realized that I'm like, well, how are you doing the same fucking thing, Amy? Amy! Amy! <laughs> My coworker, Miss Tina, she she black. She, she's this big black girl. And I don't know why I did that. Big black girl. But uh, she, she's like, 
she sounds like a baby. Like, well, not a baby. She has a baby voice. You know what I mean? Like, how, what can I get for you? You know, very, very sweet. southern draw i it's so weird uh like being in the south and like listening to black people with southern accent i guess it just throws me through a loop because like of the confederate flag and all that shit i'm like why are you still here like you should get the fuck out of here <laughs> but then i'm like there are a lot of black people that like the south so i'm like well you know like you have every right to be here you know i'm not trying to take that away from me i'm just saying like they're way more racist down here but <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I guess what I, I need to stress is that I really wish that racism was over, but it ain't, you know? And it's so easy to be a fucking racist in this country because of liberals. So, good job, PC police. Don't you wish the PC police could cancel out the real police? <laughs> there you go. I don't know what you're doing with that. Like, Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm Henry Potter. <laughs> Harry's like retarded brother. I haven't even like seen one of those movies or read those books or anything. Anything like that's like pop culture esque. Like, it took me a long time to watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> I just, I'm not on the same uh, time frame as everybody else, I suppose. But, because uh, I see a lot of things that other people don't see. Like, a lot of stuff that white people don't see. But I realize how I'm coming across, though. And, I, you know, it sucks. It sucks that people just don't, like, look more into it. You know, they just hear one thing and they're like, oh, she's, she's a horrible person, you know? Like, don't you wish people pay more attention to the right stuff? But, yeah, I feel like a lot of my jokes, especially my satirical stuff, it's like, it's like a fucking wedding cake. You know, it's got multiple tiers, but people are only going to look at one tier. You know, they're going to be like, oh, she said the N word. But like, and it's like, you know. I know I said the N-word, but do you know why I said the N-word? It wasn't so just so I could say the N-word. I mean, like, it's not that great of a word that I just, you know, just can't let it go. Um, anyway. Shout out to my friend Terry Ante. I haven't seen you in fucking forever. Um, hey. Shit. Dude, I knew I was going to forget something. I even wrote it down in my fucking hand. Drug money. God fucking damn it. Dude, I mean, you can get it later, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Drug money. Dude, you're fucking late. Go inside now.